How's it going? Mm, not well. Yesterday I managed to write four pages of things that bothered me, and well today I'm just I'm just blank. It's just a process, isn't it? Writing stuff down. No one's expecting you to be Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Yeah, with all these long books and that. You do know Harry Potter didn't actually write the books. He's a um he's a made-up character. Yeah, but you get my point now, don't you? There's no right or wrong answer. Anyway, what you could do with is a day out. Take Liv. Take me where? Skip Dale. You have fish and chips by the river. Be nice to yourself. It's a thought. And while you're there, you could pick up some scrap. I've got the details in the cabin. Right, so it's a work thing then? If you're not up for it. No, no, no. It sounds good. What do you reckon? I'm cleaning the house today. Well, I can wait. I've just bought the stuff. You okay? Yeah, I wanna be. We're in a mood swing, you should be used to that by now. Looks like it's just me and you then, shall we? Sure. Right, I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing here? It's dinner time. Right, we'll go to the cafe then. Oh, why? I'm busy cleaning, I don't need you in my face. What is wrong with you today? Nothing. Liv, come on. The way you were with Vinny, we're supposed to be sporting him and you can't even bring yourself to spend one day with him. Oh, you know what? I don't need this. You don't need what? Move out my way. Not until you tell me why you're being like this. Oh, well, it's not your problem, OK? Liv, your problems are my problems. You know that. So tell me. I can't. You hate me. Why? What have you done? Liv, whatever it is, I won't hate you, I swear. I hate myself. Don't say that. If it wasn't for you, we'd never have found out about Paul abusing Vinny. You don't know what actually happened. I don't know if I can live with it. With what? Seriously, you're worrying me now. Who are you calling? Vinny. No, no, please don't. Well, you're not talking to me, so maybe he can get through to you. You can't find out, please. Find out what? About Paul. OK, what I did. What do you mean? It's my fault Paul's dead. He was trapped under a beam. And he was begging me to help him. But I couldn't really shift him. He kept screaming and, and threatening me and telling me what he'd do if, if I didn't save him. In the end, he, he managed to shift himself. Or he could move. His legs were crushed. I didn't know what to do, Aaron. I did. He was shouting at me and I wanted to get away from him, but I knew I shouldn't just left him there. <laughs> but I did. I just ran and let him die. Liv, it was an accident. I'll never forget the look on his face. I should have dragged him up there with me. <laughs> How? He was twice your size. You'd have never managed it, Liv. You said it yourself. No, I should have tried harder. But I didn't. Because I wanted him dead. <laughs> what kind of person does that make me? Hey. Don't be kind to me. <laughs> I don't deserve it. I want to help you. You can't. No one can. <laughs>